We need to talk the sisters of perpetual indulgence. I'm right. Jane Joe. And we are here to bring a joy and blessing to your little night tonight. Thank you. The spell of Ereshkigal, the queen of the dead, could not possess this luminescent being. Yet she was charmed by Ashuman. Ashushaman, thank you. Ashushunir's beauty, moved by his her voice, amused by the creature's dance. She demanded a great feast to be held in her his honor, the best wine brought to the table. She dreamed of taking this beautiful being to bed, of keeping it with her in the land of the dead. Asushunir was careful to pour the wine upon the floor and to eat no food prepared by ghosts. When she had fallen into a stupor, the man-woman asked her if she, he, might taste the water of life, which Ereshkigal kept locked in a cellar. The water of which Enki had spoken of when Asushunamir came into the world. The water with which one must be sprinkled to pass through the seven gates of Urkala to renew one's life on the earth. Ereshkigal cried, Ereshkigal cried out, Namtar, bring the jug containing the water of life. I shall grant the wish of this charming creature. <laughs> 